Hey there everybody, Pixar Prime 10 back here with another toy video review, and this week we are keeping with the theme of Dragon Ball Z on Monday. You saw the Funko Pop figures, and today I am going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan San Gohan figure, or Super Saiyan Gohan as I, or the US, would like to call him. This, get it off right at the bat, fantastic figure. Picked it up at Barnes & Noble. An absolutely stunning figure of an awesome character from Dragon Ball Z. This is kind of similar to figures I've reviewed before, like the D Arts Mega Man figures, except D Arts and SH Figure Arts are different companies. But SH Figure Arts did make the Mario figure that I reviewed, so you already know how great this figure is going to be. On the front here, you have a big open window where you can see Gohan in there with all of his heads, his uh, Namekian cape in there, and yep, yeah, somewhere in there, right there, are his hands. But we'll get into all that later. On the bottom here, you can see we have the Dragon Ball Z logo. You have a bunch of stuff here. You have Tamashi Nations, Bondi, the stuff that makes the toy. Toe Animation, that's the company that animates the show. Funimation, that's the studio that dubs it in the U.S. On the side here, you have really nice silver. It says Super Saiyan San Gohan. On the side here, it wraps around a really cool dotted picture of Gohan. On the back, an absolutely cool pose. I wish I could try and recreate but the Cre recreate that, but I don't have a stand. On the back, you have a whole bunch of stuff that I can't read because unfortunately it's in Japanese, so I'm sure that's a bio of some sort, but you have SH Figure Arts, simple style, and heroic action. You have a bunch of cool poses here for Gohan showing you what you can do with them. You have Super Saiyan, Son, Gohan, the different faces, uh, and the Dragon Ball Z Kai logo right there. But again, I can't read any of this because I don't speak or read Japanese, but that's about it for the box. You got, of course, the classic Kamehameha pose right there. But yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna get this guy out of his box so we can take a closer look because he is absolutely a fantastic toy. All right, guys, here we have the Gohan figure and all of his accessories out of the box. And as a brief uh, informant, I guess, if you guys aren't a fan of the Dragon Ball Z show, this is uh, Teen Gohan. This is Gohan after he cha trained with Go Goku in the hyperbolic time chamber. And what he's wearing is basically the same outfit as Piccolo. It's a Namekian warrior outfit. It's basically his way of honoring Piccolo because that is who he trained with in the show. So there's just a very, very uh, simplified version of what this figure is. Gohan is the son of the main protagonist, Goku, and his wife, Chi-Chi. So, yeah, there you go. He's half Saiyan because Gohan, or Goku is full Saiyan. Chi-Chi is no Saiyan. But... There you go. For the figure, what we're going to do first is we're going to look at all of his accessories off the bat before I actually get to the figure, so set you in the background, and we will look at his hands first. Alright, so you get a couple different pairs of hands. The first kind that I see here is kind of just a, I guess, a relaxed hand, but it almost looks like it's supposed to hold something. You have the one finger out there, there the, where the bottom fingers won't detach, but the f top one is detached. So this is kind of like a flying, typing, fighting type pose. If you look on the back of the box here, you can see that this is kind of the hand that they have going in a bunch of these poses here. So this is kind of like a warrior fighting stance pose uh, type of hand. So you get two of those for each arm, of course. And then the second type of hand you get is a complete open hand, where this is more designed for the uh, something like a Kamehameha or any kind of energy blast type of pose. So this would be like the charging and then the blast or any else, anything else that you would really want to do with that. And then the third set of hands you get is actually on Gohan right now, and it is just a regular fist punching, regular fist, as if, you know, he's just chilling out like he is right now. And then those are it for the hands, and then now we get to the faces. You have a couple different faces, and the first one here is on his head. So the first face here is a very generic, just angry face, looking straight, very generic, just mad and angry. You can tell he's pretty pissed off. The next face here is really angry as this one was just mad and angry like I'm gonna kill you. This one is like I'm gonna kill you like really angry just super ticked off face like this one is you know like you're making me mad. This one he just kind of like blew up and can't take it anymore. This one is almost evil looking. He's angry but he's smiling like yeah you don't know that I'm about to kill you. This is uh of course this is what Gohan looked like when he uh killed Cell in the Cell saga. Oops, sorry about the spoilers there. So this is kind of like I'm gonna kill you Cell before he like got his arm broken. And then this face is a screaming face. Obviously, everyone in Dragon Ball Z screams, so you need, especially for this scene where he did the father-son Kamehameha wave, you definitely need this face, and it's kind of cool because he's looking to the side, so if he's firing a Kamehameha, you got to pose it as if he's going to the side there. And then the last face is actually on Gohan right now, and it is just a very calm, happy Gohan face, which Gohan is known to do. He's known to be calm and happy. And for his last bit of accessories, 
you get two sets of hair. You get this hair, which is just basically his normal hair, but yellow, so that is the Super Saiyan 1 hair. And then you also get the Super Saiyan 2 hair, in case you want to make him go Super Saiyan 2. That's about it for the accessories. You get, like, no energy blast, and uh, nothing like that, which makes me kind of upset. I do wish you got maybe... May even a stand, because I know a lot of SH figures, figures come with stands. I really wish you got a stand with this guy, maybe even some energy blast. One thing that I totally wish was if you are a fan of the show, you know that when he goes Super Saiyan 2, there's blue electricity that surrounds him. So it would be really cool, since you have the option to make him go Super Saiyan 2, is if you had like plastic blue lightning to just go around him. That would have been a really cool feature to have. But getting to the figure now, this is absolutely cool. You can see I have his Namekian cape on right now, just because it looks really good. I love the way it goes with the uh, the purple fighter warrior fighting warrior thing there. It just looks really good, and I love the way it looks like that, especially when he's smiling like, yeah, I'm Gohan, but we're going to get that off in a bit when I show you how to change the hair. One thing that's really nice is on the white cape here, you have really nice blue detail. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, you can totally see on the back here, and just the wrinkles and everything as if it's like blowing in the breeze, and all the, the wrapped upness here and the shoulder pads looks really good. I love the look of it. Just really nicely detailed on there. But uh, what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to pop this head off. And we're going to remove the cape so that I can show you his far articulation. It's really cool how it stands like that. It's almost as if it's on like a stand. This is on a ball joint, so you just get it right in there. And this is if you want to replace the hair. So you just pop that right back on. And here you have Gohan without his cape. So we'll set that off in the background because that stands really nicely. And here he is, absolutely Gorgeous looking. I know a lot of SH Figuarts figures look kind of bad because they have joints everywhere, but with this guy, he looks really good. I absolutely love it. The detail on all of the faces is superb. The likeness to the character looks so good, and I really can't get over how good it looks. You can see there's just a lot of paint detailing in there, and even on the hair, you can see coming out of his scalp there, the little lines, and uh, you can't really see it on that one, but on this one, you can see it. Like right there, that just looks really cool. The hair sculpt just looks absolutely great. And as you can see, I'm kind of already playing around with him. The amount of articulation on this guy is superb. His head is on a ball joint, so you're going to get that moving forward and back. And his neck down here even moves a little bit. So you have superb head articulation, although his head won't move up that much, so you can't really get him in a flying pose. But come down here, you have a universal joint at the shoulder, and you actually have a ball joint going into the body, so he has a ball joint there and a swivel joint there, so you can go all the way around there, and the shoulders will move like that. Uh, these shoulder pads will pop off sometimes, like that, but as you can see, there's a little hole back there and a little ball joint in there, and they just pop back on. That's uh, like that, so that you can move the shoulders freely, and I'm kind of having trouble getting them back on. That's designed so that you can get the shoulders to move freely without it falling off or breaking. Uh, come down here at the bicep, come down here to the elbows, and you do have an elbow joint that goes like that, and it will swivel 360 degrees all the way around, so you have some really great movement in the elbow. And then if you come down to the wrist here where the hands will detach, that shoulder joint keeps falling off. Come down to the wrist here, and these are on a ball joint as well due to the way they connect. So they're not really on a ball joint, but they're on a universal joint, so it moves just as well. They can rotate and go back and forth, so you're going to get some great movement there. Come down a little bit, and he does in fact have an ab crunch. That's going to be really good for a lot of fighting poses, so you can see he moves all the way around there on a ball joint. Come to his thighs, and he does have a ball joint in there that will give him a full range of motion in and out and forward and back. And you come down to the knees, and these are on a, I think, a double hinge joint. Er, no, it's just a single hinge joint where it'll move forward and back like that. And then the feet do swivel on a ball joint, and the t he actually has toe articulation, which is great in case you want to get him in a walking or kind of weird stance pose. And for some odd reason, the feet will detach if you want to, but don't do it because they're not supposed to. It's not like you're supposed to change his feet. So yeah, really great articulation for just a plethora of fighting poses. Absolutely great figure. And I have gotten him into so many fighting poses already, but my limit I haven't even hit my limitations yet. Uh, on the back here, he's kind of ugly in the knee section, but that's because of the bending joint. And I was actually wrong. He does, in fact, bend on a double knee joint, so you can get some great bend there in the knee. Uh, I kind of do wish that he had a peg in the back here for a stand, because if you're going to buy a stand for him, it's not going to work. The basic ones from SH Figure Arts, so you'd have to get one that clamps around his waist to make him fly or something. So that's kind of unfortunate. Coming to his hands, I'll show you how to change him right now. If you want to change him, all you need to do is pop that off like that. You can see it comes off on a ball joint. 
and then you can take another hand and you take it and you just pop it right back on there. Make sure you get some good leverage on the arm so you don't break it or anything. And there you, there you go. You can see it's on there, but it's kind of looking a little bit funky. There we go. I didn't have it on right. But there you go. There's that hand. So you can have them fighting and there you go. That's kind of what that hand is meant for to do something like that. I'm really not good with posing, especially with like Dragon Ball Z figures because their poses are so cool. But you just take it off and you throw another one on there. And that's how you replace the hands. For the head, what you basically want to do is to do anything on here. You can remove it entirely. And it's kind of cool the way it works. With just the normal hair, you can see you pop it off. And if you want to use this hair, you just pop it on right there. But to replace the face, you take the front section of the hair. And that will slide right out on that little tab right there. And then the head will actually slide out. So that pops out right there. And this is actually works different where there's two pegs and then there's two holes in there. And then you can take his angry face, which tabs in fairly well. And then you can take the front of his hair and just do that like that. Oh, this is actually his evil face. And then you have Gohan looking really angry. You don't mess with me, Cell. And then if you want to actually replace the head, you just pop it off and then we'll take this here and you can actually pop off the hair like that. And if you're wondering, no, you cannot replace the fronts of the hair. There'd be different sizes. Pop this front section off like that. This is obviously the Super Saiyan 2 hair. And because he's probably going to be angry while he's fighting in Super Saiyan 2 mode, we will put the screaming face on there and we will put the hair in there like that. Take his head, pop it on like that. And there you go. Oop. <laughs> and there you go. All right, so uh, here is my very lame attempt at having him having him charge a Kamehameha. It's, I did it real quick, and it's not very good. But I'm sure if I tried, I could get the... Uh, well, it's kind of hard to get the shooting pose because his hands don't really stretch across his body that well. So uh, I guess if you... Yeah, you bend him a little bit, and you push, and you tug on things... I guess you can have it like that, like, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So, the articulation is absolutely fantastic, just for some poses, it's, it's a little bit hard to get it into some poses. Uh, one thing that is a very iconic pose with this form of Gohan, this is a very uh, iconic pose with Gohan, or I think I have the wrong face, and he's, I don't think he had his mouth open, but his arm is kind of limp, and he's using the one hand, of course, to fight Cell with the, the energy going back and forth. Absolutely cool. Absolutely, just if you're a fan, this is so cool, and I absolutely love the way this guy looks, and that is just that right there. That is menacing. An absolutely great figure. Again, well, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is a figure you 100% need to buy because it's Gohan. And I know there's a lot of Dragon Ball Z figures out there, and SH figure arts. Some people are like, eh, they're not the best. I think this is an absolute, this is one of the best figures of Teen Gohan that you can get. It looks absolutely fantastic. You might be able to find a statue that looks a little bit better, but you can't pose that however you want that's stuck in a generic pose. That right there is just awesome. And so I, real quick, I put this face in the Super Saiyan 2 hair, just so you can see what that looks like in a head, and then I also put the very angry face inside the Super Saiyan 1 hair, just so now you got a chance to see what uh, all the faces look like inside one of the heads. Now guys, in case it hasn't been obvious enough, that I absolutely love this figure. I think it looks superb. It looks great. It has so many faces, hands, and even two heads, and if you thought like those Mega Man figures had a bunch of posing possibilities, which I thought they did too, this guy is out of this world in terms of posing. What I have going here is just cool, and you can do so many different things with literally just standing, and he looks great. So if you are a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this is a figure that you need to get, in my opinion, because it is absolutely great. Unfortunately, I don't remember how much I picked it up for, but I don't think it was too expensive. I think I think it was somewhere around $40, but I could be totally off. Just an absolutely great figure that... I'll say it for the last time, you need to get yourself because it's just absolutely fantastic. But guys, that's about going to wrap it up for this review of this absolutely amazing looking Teen Gohan figure. So remember that you can follow me over on Twitter for updates and sneak previews of upcoming videos. And you can also follow me on Tumblr. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this Dragon Ball Z themed week. I'll see you on Friday with the Hash Truck Friday. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a great day.